alrighty, we're going to be running a uh, 240 volt 30 amp sub feed to a sub panel. It has to be four conductor. In this case, it's a uh, 30 amps. So we're using number 10 copper. The black is going to be live. The red is going to be live. The white is neutral and the bare is the ground. Now in this main panel, we can have the ground and neutral together, but out in the sub panel, we have to keep them separate. So uh, here in the country I was born in, we use number 10 on 30 amps. And what we're doing in the main panel box here is going to be the same as hooking up an electric dryer or a uh, 30 amp receptacle for a welder or a 30 amp RV 240 volt outlet. So I'll show you how to install this. Put our wire Romex connector in here. We can probably get a neater job coming across the top. I'm going to back this up here. And I'll go across the top.
was born. Uh, all right. So we'll get it across the top here. Uh, and we'll start down along the side there. And I'll just tip the camera down. Don't want to tighten it too tight because you'll pinch and short the wires out inside. So I'll loosen, and I'll make it even on both sides. So it's about even there. We have enough wire. Thank you, Lord, for not having my uh, knife here. So, you know what? I'm going to just praise you and worship you and give you honor and glory. And I'm not going to just straighten them. I just, if I can't tell you, you'll have to go get it. I just try doing it the hard way. That's all. I just praise him, worship him. And don't worry about leaving stuff behind and forgetting it and not knowing where stuff is. It's only stuff, leaving it behind and forgetting it. It's probably God's glory. Uh, just make sure you don't get the wire in the cutter. bring this back down so we don't have too much jacket in our box here. Okay, that's about where we want it. Now we'll just snug this up so it's even on both sides here. Okay. There, now we're even on both sides. Okay, so this is the main box and we can put 
our ground and our neutral on the same bus bar, so we'll put our ground right in that hole up here. So keep our wires down. Okay, we'll fold our ground wire back, push it to the corner here, we'll run it across the bottom here, push it in the corner, we'll bring it up, and we'll keep coming up. And Hey, it was just about long enough. So it's going to be nice and neat here. Okay, now we'll bring our white wire over to the neutral bar. Okay, we'll bring our white one down. We'll push it down into the corner like this. Bend it in our corner here. We'll bring it up and we'll make it land perfect length. And we'll put it in right here. Insulation under the terminal there. Make sure it's tight. We'll tuck our wires back into our box. So this is our 30 amp double pole breaker. This is a sub feed. It could be the same for wiring an electric dryer or, or a 240 volt 30 amp welder. We'll just push this in the box like this. And we will just uh, do the same thing with our black and our red. We'll push it down into the corner like this so it's nice and neat. We'll bring it up and make our fan to come over to the breaker and we'll cut it right here. Okay, so make sure it stays off. And we'll strip our number 10 wire with our number 10 hole. wire into the hole there. Okay, I stripped it a little, a little bit too long, so I will put uh, that back a little bit here. Put it a little off there. Now make sure our insulation is not going under the uh, terminal, so we'll tighten it up. side of our box and we'll bend it over where we're going to go over to the breaker right here. So we'll strip it and cut it right here. Oh, yeah. 
make sure we make sure we don't get our insulation under the uh, terminal block there. Okay, now we'll start stapling our wire back to where we're going to go to a junction box and change to a UF wire to go underground. And that UF wire has to be uh, in conduit where it's going out. And we'll put it down into the ground. And then the direct carry of UF wire can be directly carried. And it has to be PVC again where it comes up out of the ground near the shed. So they pull a wire down that somebody else did here. Okay, we're going to go across above some beams here. Make sure I get it above everything here. And I look for a hole to go through. You might be able to get it through a couple of the holes that are up here. Oops. 
a joy to untwist because I don't have one of those uh, things to lay the wire on and unspool it. So you just enjoy untwisting it. You thank God for what you have. You don't complain about what you don't have. More staples here. You cannot run wire on the bottom floor joist stapled to the bottom going this way. So we're going through some holes that were here before.
Okay, so I need to have find the staples. Okay, so now I want to get it above the plumbing here. So I'll get it up above here. Get it above here. this here. Okay, so we're going to go above this heat pipe here.
going to start going through some holes up here that were here previously. Flashlight up here to see where they are. There's one there. Well, thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, I praise you for not being able to find my knife. So I'm going to strip this the hard way. I praise your holy name. I... Oh, It's a challenge. You praise God and you thank Him for it. And you don't frustrate Him. Don't take His name in vain because Jehovah has feelings. And you don't want to hurt the feelings of the person, the one who created you. So we not exactly sure where they're going out here, but a junction box is going to go in this general area to uh, yeah. You know what? I don't even know where my strippers are, so thank you, Lord, for that, too. So I'll just strip it the hard way, just score it gently without forcing. 
thermos. So we'll just put a cap on our two hot wires, which go to the junction box. And we're going to change to UF wire when we go out and underground. So uh, we'll just have them capped off here. And we'll just roll this up, get this out of our way. And this is where our junction box will be to hook up our uh, power to the shed. So we'll just fold this up, we'll get it up out of our way. And then we're ready to run the shed wire. And I'll just wrap it around here. This is only very, very temporary. It's only going to be a couple of days until we put our conduit in. We have to have the UF wire, which is Ray. It will go in conduit, out through the side of the house, down into the ground. The UF wire will be buried in direct burial 18 inches deep. Then again, in conduit, where it comes up into the shed. And it will connect to some of this orange type wire again in a junction box to feed the uh, sub panel. So we have the red and the black here, which is your two live wires. You get 120 between the red and the white and the black and the white for your two circuits in the shed. Peace. Thanks for watching.